Ophelia, hello, how are you doing? I've got your magazine um, queued up here. And I just want to say a couple of things about, um, well, of course, the images, how you handled the images, how you placed the um, vector, and then the layout and general design itself. So I think as, in terms of, of placing that vector, I think you did a really good job. That's the logo. You did a good job there. I think that um, the other images that you have uh, in terms of the, the objectives of this class, um, digital imaging, there's some issues with actually with each one of your images. And I'd like to just take a second and point each one out. Okay, your main image, it's a wonderful image. And I think it really speaks volumes um, about the, what what you're saying about Amethyst Bay in this family this family thing. This picture says it all. But the Im the image itself is a little burned out in the highlight areas. What do I mean when I say burned out? I'm burned. I mean this. See how that's total white right there. See how there's no detail whatsoever in like parts of the shirt, in the sand back here. Mm, baby's okay but but definitely you you this has been brightened it to the point where you've lost detail here the pixels have been disintegrated so to speak um so they've lost all detail all information of what I like I'd like you to do is bring back some of the detail in there and you can do so with your adjustment layers specifically try your um levels and curves adjustments excuse me <coughs> sorry um Okay, the next thing is these images on the bottom. Each one of these images, although I think that each one has been adjusted quite nicely, I think what each one holds a very, a very good um, tonal value in its own, on its own. However, it, each one of these images has been skewed or otherwise stretched or manipulated to fit the, the, the space here. Let me tell you what I mean. Look how short that figure is, that, that lady's body is. Okay, she's been squished. I remember the original image, and, and she's been squished. Look at the, the horizon line on this thing and how flat and short the little tent is. That's been squished to fit in there. And this, uh, this food has most definitely been, been altered. Now, listen, when you resize an image, um, always, typically, what you do is, is you need to... You need to constrain the original proportions of the image. Now that's true whether you're going to crop an image or resize it. Okay, so so you can't stretch or skew the x-axis um, independently of the y-axis. Okay. Next thing is your typography. I think that this is too long of a character count, and I also think that your uh, type typographic layout would. Um, would definitely benefit from a more of a grid structure, underlying grid structure. And then finally, let's look at our visual stops. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Um, and when I say this over here, I'm talking about the color background. So basically you've got 12, a dozen things here you're asking your viewer to, to look at. And we can't do it. Humans, we just can't do it. it. It falls apart. You have to really concentrate on one or two things and then work hierarchy from there. Okay, my suggestion would be to use this image as your background and place your other images somewhere accordingly, place your type accordingly, and resize your logo. Okay, any questions, comments, or um, other concerns or other considerations or things maybe I've overlooked, please just give me a holler and I'll be glad to address that. Okay, thanks very good. Thanks very much and also very good work. Thank you.